Hey guys, so you know that I've been putting together a Harley Davidson for a couple months now. I'm excited to install some brand new products from One Wheel Revolution. Just got these things in the mail and they look fantastic. Rob has sent me a crash bar along with some crash pegs and a skid plate. I don't know if you guys know Rob or not, but all his stuff is super nice. His bikes are perfect, so I can't help but think that his products are going to install the same way. Check it out as I install this stuff on a 2017 Harley Davidson Roadster. After working on sport bikes for 19 years, building a Harley Davidson has been a bit taxing. But it is nice that like, as soon as you get these parts in the mail, you get to see the product, the sliders, the pegs, the hardware, everything is right there laid out for you, which really excited me to work on this build and finish up with this install and so I could ride this thing. The first thing I did was just kind of lay out all my parts, my sliders, my pegs, and just kind of admired the craftsmanship that went behind all this. The, the welds are really nice, the finish is really nice. I decided to go with a skid plate. I've always loved the way the skid plates look on the Harley Davidson. It always gives you a really nice place to put sponsor logos or your own logos some websites or a big smiling picture of your face as you're doing a wheelie, whatever you need. As I finished up my skid plate and saw my sponsor logos and whatnot, I jumped right into the instructions just to see what I was getting myself into. And the instructions really make you confident about this install. So as I started just kind of test fitting everything together, I realized I wasn't so much as test fitting as I was installing because it's really that easy. One thing I noticed early on in the install was when you're installing just a skid plate, the skid plate comes with some spacers that go in between the frame and the plate. But if you install the crash bar, the crash bar actually replaces those spacers. And I thought that was, that was really impressive fitment. The sliders install with a very simple set screw, which will make things really nice to replace them later down the road. Lastly, I decided to install what I would call crash pegs, because not only are they pegs for standing, but they protect the bike once it rolls over on its side. I used a jack to take the weight off the shocks, and then I simply removed the stock hardware and replaced it with the hardware that comes in the kit. All these kits come with all new hardware, so you don't have to worry about fighting to make the stock hardware fit or finding something that will work. And just like that, I was done. I took my sweet time with this install, and I think I knocked it out in less than 30 minutes. So if you ride a Harley-Davidson Roadster or a Sportster, I would highly recommend heading on over to OneWheelRevolution.com to check out the products for your bike. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video for future installs and product reviews. Thanks for watching.